Working with text. It's a lot more than just cat, this time on Hack Tip. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm your host, Shannon Morse, and today we are going to be messing around with text processing and reviewing some commands that we have done previously. Now, we did a little bit of this a very long, long time ago on Hack Tip when we discussed using commands like cat to do simple things like creating and viewing text documents. So to review, if we look at my computer, I could type in something like cat, greater than moon.txt and hit enter. And then I can type in uh, something like fighting <laughs> evil by moonlight. And that's what's going to end up in my text document. I'll hit enter and then hit control D to go ahead and sign out of that text document and save it. And that created a new file using the cat command. If I go ahead and type in cat again, so cat, and then I type in tack A, moon.txt and hit enter. That is going to show me, it says fighting evil by moonlight with a little dollar sign at the end. Now you may be wondering what that dollar sign is at the end. The reason you see that is because it has a trailing space at the end. So it's nothing scary, but it's useful if you weren't expecting some kind of extra spaces. So cat can also be very, very useful and it comes with a lot of different options, which of course you can read up on the man page. Luckily the man page for cat is very, very short and it's an easy read. So go ahead and take a few seconds to read it. Don't worry, I'll pause for you. Now, for example, I can create a text document called light.txt and I would do the same thing, cat greater than light.txt. Then if I add a certain option, it's tack BS, yes, I said BS, then it's going to show me something completely different. So I will show you what that looks like here on my computer. So I'll just do cat tack A light.txt so you can see what it normally looks like. It says, I am the soldier of love. You can tell I'm a big Sarah Moon fan, can't you? Now, if I type in tack BS and then light.txt, and I'll just tab to complete that, it shows me I am the soldier of love, again. But why are there a bunch of numbers there? So you'll notice that the numbers are only on the non-empty rows. So it only gave numbers to the rows that had words in it. And then it gets rid of any additional empty rows because the tack B is for numbering non-blank lines and the tack S is for suppressing any kind of repeated empty lines that may have been in my text document. So you only end up with one blank line in between each of those words, just in case I, for some reason, created extra empty lines. Now there is sort, which is another command that is super useful for text. Sort will sort file text in a way that you can delegate. So you can use tack n to sort numerically or tack r to reverse sorting, for example. You could also use something like tack m to merge multiple files into one sorted list, which is also very useful. All of these files will be sorted for standard output in your terminal screen. So for example, I'm gonna go ahead and type another example. I'll type in sort light.txt and hit enter. And it says, am I love of soldier the? So you can tell here the empty spaces are at the front and then it does alphabetical order, A-I-L-O-S-T. So very easy to understand there. Then if I want to add a tack R, I could do sort tack R light.txt. It ends up saying the soldier, <laughs> the soldier of love I am. <laughs> So it basically, it turns it into Yoda speak. Yep, I definitely went there. I mean, who doesn't? Everybody loves some Star Wars, right? Now, if I type in sort moon.txt, that's the other document that I wrote. So I'll do sort moon.txt, there we go. And then I'll type in light.txt, but what I'm doing is merging these two. So I'll also use the greater than sign and then I'll type in moonlight.txt. So I'm creating a new text document called moonlight.txt out of light and moon text documents. Once I do that, oops, there we go. I'll scroll down for you again, hit enter. And it goes ahead and creates that. And then I can cat moonlight.txt and see what's written there. And it's going to show me am fighting evil by moonlight. I am <laughs> of, I love of soldier the. So <laughs> it's sorting both of those together into a merge document, which is a little confusing, but can be very useful if you're sorting something that actually makes sense. <laughs> 
So pretty fun little item that you can do there. Another example, I've got a document called birthdays.txt and it lists a whole bunch of birthdays for all the Sailor Moon characters. For some reason, if that's useful for you, great. If not, that's fine too. It's not in any kind of sort of order, it's just by the character's name, which doesn't really mean anything. But if I wanted to sort the document for the birthdays so that the birthdays were in order by month, for example, I could type in sort tack n tack k two birthdays there we go and hit enter now just to give you a comparison i'm going to type in cat birthdays too so you can see what the original document looks like so the original starts with the first character in the show usagi then amy ray makoto and so on when i sort it with tack n tack a two birthdays it's going to start with haruka then go to hataru michiru rei usagi and so on and so forth the reason why is because it's sorting by tack a two two means that it's looking at this second column of numbers so it's going to start with the ones in the first month that's haruka and hotaru then it'll move on to the third month fourth sixth ninth 10, 12, and so on and so forth. That's pretty easy to understand. It will sort the birthdays depending on that second column, which is the month and by number instead of alphabetically, which is why I put in, in that tack N. Now, why is this? Well, tack K2 means sort will sort by key fields, and then it will look for the field number two, which is that second column, which is the number coinciding with that birth month. The problem is, even though it's sorting by the month, it is not sorting by the day. So if you look at my computer here, and I'll show you that exactly example again, even though Haruka and Hotaru both have birthdays in January, it sorts Haruka first for the 27th and then Hotaru by the 6th. So it's not sorting by this third uh, column here. So what do you do about this? Well, luckily it's pretty easy to fix. All you have to do is type in, and I'll show you my computer one more time. I'll type in sort tack K two comma two, don't worry, I'll explain it, K3N birthdays, and I'll tab to complete that. So if we look at this command and what enters out onto your computer in standard output, this means, so first we have sort, which is the command, obviously, tack K2 comma two is for the key field number two and only that key field. So it's only going to sort this one first and then tat k 3 n means then it will sort the third key field by number. And if we look down here, it switched Hotaru and Haruka's birthdays. So we have Hotaru's first, which is on the 6th, and then Haruka's, which is on the 27th. So it totally worked, which is very, very exciting. All right, so we are going to take a quick break now to thank our sponsor, but we'll be right back with some more commands. IT people, you know how it is. When all of those alerts and tickets light up your monitor like a Christmas tree, you're not being productive. You're just stressed out. No mere mortal can analyze all of those alerts and respond to all of those tickets. But I have good news. You can immediately reduce that noise with Moogsoft AI Ops. Moogsoft AI Ops is an algorithmic IT ops platform that reduces your IT alerts and tickets by up to 99%, guaranteed. Moogsoft AI Ops platform integrates with all of your existing IT tools. Moogsoft's patented technology correlates events into actionable work items, they call them situations, so that you can focus on tackling the stuff that really matters. For example, in one case study, a company was experiencing tons of alert fatigue, lack of context, and thousands upon thousands of tickets. Moogsoft help with that reactive approach to incident response tickets by enabling time to value, easing the integration of ITSM tools and existing monitoring, and increasing the quality of event correlation across multiple tools. And they saw a 33% reduction in mean time to restore in the business. With Moogsoft AI Ops, you can reduce your IT alerts and tickets by up to 99% right now. Visit Moogsoft.com to get a demo. That is M-O-O-G-S-O-F-T.com, Moogsoft.com. We are now back with cat and sort, along with another command. So we have learned how to sort depending on the first letter or a number in a key field, but what about the second character or the third character? To do something like that, you can simply type in a command like this one on my computer. I'll type in sort, not soft, sort tech K, and I'm gonna put in 3.2NB. I know that looks weird, bear with me and then birthdays, and then I'll hit enter. So in this case, this is going to sort by the key field number three, which is right here, 
and then it will sort by the second character. So it's sorting by number two here instead of number one, which would start with this one here. So it looks a little bit jumbled, but it actually makes sense. You have zero, two, five, six, seven, and then nine. However, in the first row, obviously, in this case with birthdays, it doesn't make much sense. It goes one, three, two, a bunch of zeros, two, one, two. So there you have it. That would be how you can sort by multiple characters as opposed to just the one first character in that column. Now, if you are trying to sort something like a CSV file, which instead of having spaces or tabs in between each of the columns, it actually has commas in between each of the columns or in between each of the different squares. In that case, you would have to use something a little bit different. You could type in the sort command again, so sort, then type in tack T and use a single quote, comma, single quote, tack K, three birthdays, like that. Now, in this case, that tack T is going to let you define the value in between each of those different columns, each of those different key fields. So in this case, it is defining the comma as being the thing in between each, each of the key fields. Then it is going to sort by key field number three. So that tack K3 makes sense. So in this case, it starts with Makoto, who was born on the fifth of the month, then the sixth, 10th, 7th, 22, 27, 29, and 30. Totally makes sense. In the original document, I started with the character in the show, Usagi, and then went from there all the way to the very end where I had a duplicate at the end, Hotaru. So it's going to take care of all that sorting and then Hotaru, you will sh see both of her entries end up at the top since she was born at the sixth of the month. Lastly for today, I also wanted to mention the command called unique or UNIQ. In place of UNIQ or unique, you can also use tack U with sort. So unique basically just gets rid of any kind of duplicates in a standard output. So for example, I had Hotaru written twice in that last entry. I could get rid of that remaining extra entry if I wanted to with unique. So when I add tack U to that previous command and I'll type it in at the very end and we'll see if that works, I hit enter. And you'll notice that instead of just deleting the extra Hotaru here, since I was sorting by that third key field, which is the day, it's going to get rid of any additional ones that were born on the same day. So you only get one entry for the sixth, even though there were three entries, one, two, three for the sixth. So it just keeps the first one and gets rid of the two last ones. So pretty useful if you wanted to do that. Now, if I just type in another example, which gets rid of all the additional commas and everything, uh, which is just sort tack you birthdays two. Let's try that out. Sort tack you birthdays two. Hit enter. Okay, so in this case, it's going to keep all of the names, but it gets rid of that second Hotaro because this time it's just automatically sorting by alphabetical order on the very, very first line as opposed to the numbers on the last line. Keep in mind, according to the man page, unique only recognizes duplicates if the lines are adjacent to each other. So sort them first and then you can use tack U or unique. Now stay tuned because coming up on Hack Tip, we are going to delve into cut, paste, and join commands along with a ton of other useful items for text processing too. Until then, I wanna hear your feedback. How do you handle dealing with text documents? I know they can be a little bit confusing in the terminal, but it's actually a lot of fun once you get down into it. Hit me up tips at hack5.org or be sure to comment below and be sure to check out our sister show, Hack 5, for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there reminding you to trust your Technolust. Tons of alert, f alert.